There you go, Jay Maya back with another video. And this is why you think that that Jones versus Gone might have been fixed. Was it fixed? I'll start off by saying it looked kind of fake. It looked kind of really fake. But that didn't mean it was fixed. That didn't mean they fixed this one. But the reason you might think they fix it is because of Francis Ngannou. The UFC cannot have a heavyweight out there claiming to be the top, the baddest man on the planet. That's not in their organization. They got to crush that dude. He could, he could bring up things for contention against the UFC. You know? Bring up, I mean, bring up other organizations and stuff. The only thing is the UFC's got the heavyweight talent. Francis put himself in a pickle. Kind of screwed himself because the UFC had more power than he thought. Now he's kind of stuck out there in limbo, but he could still, if he could get money from like Paramount or something like that, he could do something. But he'll probably get the Fury fight for like $10 million and that's about all that'll happen. Maybe he'll find a belt sword or something, but... The UFC, the reason you might think the fight was fixed because the UFC would do anything they do, had to do to crush Francis Ngannou and make sure that they remained having the baddest man on the planet. And if Cyril Gaon, if Cyril Gaon had won that fight, Cyril Gaon lost to Ngannou. So, I, so Ngannou will be out there and be the real champ. They can't have that. They can't have anybody contending against their organization. They have to hold the power on top. I mean, they're ruthless, they're cutthroat. I mean, think about it. The UFC is a pretty ruthless organization. But anyway, so now John Jones winning. You think the fight might be fixed because they needed John Jones to win so to beat Gon so they could say Johnny Bones Jones, the GOAT of 205, is now the GOAT GOAT. Got two belts. He didn't hold them simultaneously, though. So he didn't do what Conor McGregor did. Conor McGregor held him simultaneously. And so did DC and um, the Lioness. But there's not a lot of people that defended both belts and held them. That's about it, I believe. GSP didn't. BJ Penn didn't. Who else had two belts? Not a lot of people have them. There's been more than I thought there'd be, but... Randy Couture had two belts. Let's get out of old school. But anyway, so that's why you think the fight might be fixed because the UFC is ruthless enough to pay somebody to take a fall to make sure that John Jones comes out as, as the GOAT and that there's Francis and Ghana loses his, his buying power in the market. You know, his pull, his, his ability to pull down dollars. Those would have been UFC dollars. Now UFC is showing them, I, these are our dollars. So, that's why you think the fight might be fixed. Because would people fix a fight to make sure their organization remains on top and get the proceeds of millions and millions of dollars? Of course. Of course people would do that. People would get Pagan a cool meal to just give up his neck. Because he didn't even fight that choke. The fight looked fake. But there's always the possibility, and this is the possibility that I'm going with, is that Cyril Gaon just got no ground game. I mean, he got slammed down by Francis Ngannou, who can have some good takedown defense, but he has his offensive wrestling's not there. So he got he got he got he got handled on the ground by him. So he might really just get handled on the ground. Nobody's really everybody's gone toe to toe with the dude. There's no rest. There's no Wrestling in the heavyweight division, hardly. You know, John's now like the top wrestler. Heavyweight pool of talent isn't as good. You know, usually they don't get the best talent at heavyweight. But John, he looked like a beast. I mean, the way he looked, he didn't look in good shape, but he was big. He looked like a mountain. I mean, he was a big boy. And, um... 
So I don't think necessarily I could say that the fight was fixed, though it looked fake, though it, I could see all the things that mankind would do to make sure to, to, to get money and power. But it just seems like Cyril Gaon ain't got no ground game. So that's what it comes down to. He better get to work. He better start, he better go to a different camp. <laughs> he better get his camp and bring in some good wrestlers. Because that was pitiful. Cyril Gaon, I had picked Cyril Gaon to win. I thought John Jones was toast. His last two fights in the 205 were trash. And, uh, and everybody, he arguably lost that one fight. I gave that fight versus Reyes to Jones when I, when I scored it. But I could see how they could make a case for Reyes. I mean, it was a close fight. You could have called that round. You could have swung around. So, anyway, but it's... I don't think this one was fixed. I think the reality is they just suck. It's hard to fix fights all the time. They fix a lot of them. But this one... I'm not calling a fix, though it looked fake. Anybody who says that looked fake, and he didn't fight the hands, he didn't fight that choke at all, that's all true. But he seemed like, uh, from the time he got out there, he seemed like he was scared. Like Cyril Gunn was backing up and, like, kicking and jumping away, and he just was not looking confident in there. He had a deer in the headlights. Like, he was scared of John Jones. Like, he really didn't, really didn't want to fight this dude. And sometimes people go in there defeated before the fight even happens. And he seems like that. And he might have a weak mind. Cyril Gaon might have got broke by just John Jones, the the bigness of John Jones coming to heavyweight. So I can see that too. A lot of that game is mental. And John is a strong mental person. Even though he's crazy, he knows how to, he's competitive. He knows how to win. And um, anyway, so that's my tight take on the fight being fixed. I don't, I, I'll say that I really, in the end, don't know, but I don't think so. And I'm not playing it that way. But we will find some more. I guarantee you we'll find some more fake ones. And I'll be here hunting them. Because I love fights. It's one of the few pure things of combat between men. Just these two hands. I got a throne. And that's real. It's brutal, but it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's part of who we are part of being human that aggression that competition that want to win it's a beautiful sport anyway that's all I got to say let me know what you thought about that fight did you think it was real or fake or did you enjoy the fight it was kind of a letdown it's like I got like two minutes I was hoping to see a scrap we didn't see no scrap. They just, John just came in there and looked like, like a gorilla, pushed Cheryl Gone around and then fucking took him to the ground and just dominated him. And just choked him out in like two minutes. It was, it was total domination. Anyway, this is J-Bye. I'm out. Peace, love, grace to you. Mad love, I'm out.